everybody, it is your boy Vertex. Hope you guys are having a good day, a good Thursday, and today we're doing part 11 of Heavy Rain. Now the title of this mission is called On the Loose. So let's find out what's going to happen. Let's get right into it. Darn. I feel bad for Ethan. Ethan, are you all right? I couldn't do it. I was supposed to kill him to save Sean. And I couldn't do it. You're not the origami killer, Ethan. You're not responsible for those murders. I can prove it. That counts nothing. Saving Sean is all that matters now. Oh shoot. What? <laughs> Why am I controlling this kiss? <laughs> what? Why why do I need to control this? Oh no. <laughs> what? Okay, Detroit does not have all this. What the heck? This is how your channel gets a strike. Oh, that would be hilarious. If I get a strike on this, YouTube, <laughs> don't think about it, man. Why? Um, this is kind of sus. <laughs> Why do I gotta control this? Heavy rain does not have this. I like how the window is like people can see you through there. Whoa! Oh no, I have to do that tilt thing? Oh, I'm gonna fail that. I think we're gonna be here all day if, we, if, we, if I'm forced to do that. No! That was, a, that was a wrong decision. Just don't show it, please. Oh. Oh, shoot. This is how you ruin the moment. I don't know how you're supposed to do this. Muscle? There we go. Why? Am I done controlling? This is getting kind of weird. I don't know if this is allowed. What is going on? This is not how I expected the video to start, but... I guess it is. Like how they're on the floor. <laughs> Why not the floor? Okay. 
Ethan. Don't wake her up. Oh, shoot. Uh, I was kind of wondering who we're playing as. Ethan or Madison. Enough messing around, Ethan. You got to save your son, man. She's the She's only the person I can trust. trust. But now I have now to be I alone have to, to do what I have to do. You're not even alone. You call this being alone? I've already wasted too much time. I've got to get through this last trial. I love how all he thinks about is... Things might have worked out between us. If circumstances had been different. Only one more origami figure. Then I find my son's. Oh, I thought I was gonna get the origami box, but it's, I forgot it's like right there. I think Ethan has wear like the same clothes this entire time. She's still asleep. No goodbyes, no explanations. I'll just leave before she wakes up. Come on. You can't leave. Oh, shoot. What the hell is that? Oh, man. Whoa! What? <laughs> Why is there a picture of me? This is sus. <laughs> I was sleeping and she took a picture of me. I cannot understand that. <clears throat> Read it to me. God darn it, Ethan. Yes, yes. All this time I had no idea. Oh, shoot. Ethan, what's the matter? I thought I meant something to you. Listen, I... You're a pretty good nurse for a fucking journalist! What the... what the... I wanted to tell you, but... What kind of article were you gonna write? My life with a serial killer? No, no, no. How I caught the origami killer. Maybe you'll get a book deal. I hope it was fucking worth it! Ethan, it's not what you think. I... You lied to me, Madison! All this time you fucking lied to me! I thought you wanted to help me, but you're only thinking of writing a fucking book? It's true. It's true. I'm a journalist. And I knew that you were the father of the boy who had disappeared, and... And I wanted to cover the story. But then I saw what you were going through to save your son. And, and I understood how much you love him. I wanted to tell you the truth, but I couldn't. I was afraid that you, that you may not believe me. I was afraid that you'd ask me to go. All I want is for you to find your son alive. And when it's all over, I want to be with you. Forgive! These two are a cute but weird couple. I don't know how we have that picture though. I'm so sorry. Is that kind of reject her? Aren't you? Yes. It's the last origami figure. The last letters, then I'll know where Sean is. Take care, Ethan. I can't lose you now. 
It's so romantic. I'm gonna go find something to eat. Wait for me, I'll, I'll be back in 10 minutes. I was so afraid he wouldn't believe me. Wrong move, idiot. I should have admitted everything earlier. Um. I, um, I think I'm starting to fall in love. Starting? Now we gotta find his son. And I think I know where to start looking. We'll find his son and prove he's innocent. I'll be able to help him now that he knows who I am. Police? Wait, what? I don't know why I just screamed. That's just... Fork! Oh. Oh, shoot. Cops. It looks like a raid. Oh sh! It's the phone. No! I hate him. It's too late. Ethan's gonna get arrested, or he won't be able to save his son. I'm sorry, Ethan. Come on! What was the damn number? Two oh seven. Come on! Come on! Pick up the phone. Hello? The cops. They're in the motel. You've got to get out of here. That wasn't even. It didn't even sound like him. Oh shit! This is so much fork and pressure. Fork. Come on. Eat the get up. Oh shoot. Shit. Shoot, man. Oh shit. Up. You get up, please, Ethan. Don't move. Ah, yo. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, up. Shit. Ah. Whoa. Ah. 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 <laughs> ah, you son of a yeah why yeah, shit shit so on your knees hands no. behind your head easy pal Nowhere to go. You're surrounded. Jump it! <laughs> Holy fuck! Fork you, you piece of poop! Run, Ethan! Shit! Fork you! Taxi! Happy, I remember the forking number. I'm also happy I got my things correctly. One wrong move and I could have got caught. You unlocked a new bonus. We're back to Scott Shelby. Lover boy. Just got the achievement called Lover Boy. 
I don't want to, I don't want you guys to think escape master. I am an escape master. Okay. Nothing in my mind right now. Hi, Lauren. Laura. No, Lauren. Yeah. Right. I'm sorry, Scott. You should what? Listen to me, Mr. Shelby. You. I told you to drop the investigation. What? Your son is a serial killer. How many people does he have to kill before you turn him in? Gordy has his faults, but he's still my son. You have no children, Mr. Shelby. You can't possibly understand. You leave me no choice. No. Your investigation is over. For good. Oh boy! What has happened in this episode? What the actual? <laughs> Nothing. What? Lauren. Shit. Shit indeed. Who the f would do this? Well, I never would do this, but. Oh, come on. We're forking gonna die. Shit. Oh, no. There we go. There we go. Yes, we gotta get that. Take that. There we go. There we go. There we go. Just like that. Lauren! Lauren! Lauren, wake up! Lauren! They drugged her good. <laughs> Slap her! No. We're gonna drown. We gotta go. Scott shall be in the rescue. To the rescue. I'm gonna take up swimming again. This isn't exactly what I had in mind. You got a car back at your place? Mine's obviously pretty fucked up. Yeah, sure. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna go settle a few scores. Come on, I'll take you home. Lock your doors and windows and don't let anybody in but me. Okay? Be careful, Scott. I don't wanna lose you. That was a close one. Swimming instructor. A lot of things are happening. Oh, he looks mad. Don't mess with Scott Shelby.
You're not so tough now, tough guy. Fucking asshole. Please. Oh, I'm not done with you. Oh, sh- Who? Your idiot son killed all those kids, didn't he? He's the origami killer. No! No! He's innocent! He's not a killer! Not a killer! You're a fucking liar. Now tell me the truth. No, no, please. Don't hurt me. Last chance. I don't know. I swear. I don't know anything. Stop. Stop. I beg you. I'll tell you everything. Gordy... Gordy always wanted his fun, you know? He wanted to... to be like the origami killer. He kidnapped that kid and... he held him under the water for a little too long. It was an accident. An unfortunate accident. He just wanted to play. He told me everything. He was crying. He was so sorry for what had happened. Whatever he did, Gordy... Gordy is my son. No one will miss him. What? That boy, Gordy killed. No one will miss him. The street trash like so many others. You disgusting pile of shit. And what about John Shepard? Why did you put flowers on his I, grave? I own the construction site where he died. I never forgot. I've been putting flowers on his grave for 30 years. John had a twin brother. What happened to him? I don't know. He was adopted, I think. His mother? Tom. His mother, you know. Her hmm. name is Anne. Anne Shepard. Anne Shepard. My heart! My heart! That looks so fake. Quickly! I need my pills! In that draw! Yeah! I'm no better than him if I let him die. Oh no. Shoot. Ooh. He's gonna die. I can't let him die, even though he deserves it. <sighs> I'm guessing you can leave him to die. You saved my life. I already regret it. <laughs> I don't regret it. Holy crap, though. We got every single shot. I wish my aim was that good in other games. <laughs> Invincible Scott. Okay, we got time. Kind hearted. We get a lot of achievements.
How did Madison find out about Anne Shepard? What? John Shepard died 30 years ago. Hope his mother has all the answers to this puzzle. Miss, can I help you? Oh, I tried to talk to you. Hello, I'm looking for Anne Shepard's room. Wait, what? Please sign the visitor's book. Okay. Are you a member of the family? Yeah, you could say that. Oh, she'll be pleased to have a visitor. No one ever comes to see her. With the Alzheimer's, she has trouble remembering things, but it'll still please her, you know. It's room 19 at the end of the corridor. Thank you. Room 19. Where is that? The sound on the left or on the right, I did in here. Room 19. Where is that? It's the old lady, old lady over there. Only a few hours left before Sean Mars dies. Hope I'm not wasting my time. Room 19. Where is that? 18. Mrs. Shepherd. Is it time for my pills already? No, Mrs. Shepherd. I... They're never on time with my pills. I don't know what they do here. In the other hospital, they were always on time. But here... My name is Madison Page. I'm a journalist. I'd like to ask you some questions about your son. I don't like this hospital. The food isn't very good, you know. Food is never good in a hospital. <laughs> no offense to the hospital. Mm. John's brother. We had a son named John, and John had a twin brother. Do you have my pills? It's time for my pills. What? Um. Second son? Your other son, Mrs. Shepherd, John's twin brother. What was his name? Wait, that's an Oregonian. Oh, son. I have no other son. I never had any children. What? I'm kind of confused. Um, Johnny. Do you remember John? My Johnny. He is a good little boy, you know. I think your son is in trouble, Mrs. Shepherd. He's done some terrible things. I need to find him. Do you understand? Terrible things you're telling me. He never came to see me, can you believe it? In 10 years, never. No one forgets their mother, do they? Aw. Um. Try to remember, Mrs. Shepherd. John's twin brother was placed with a foster family after the accident. What was the name of the foster family? I asked them for a television, you know. They said I didn't have enough money. It's a pity. I'm fond of television. Oh, I'll buy you one. <laughs> um... Mrs. Shepard, your son may be linked to a series of murders. Perhaps you have some information that could help the investigation. Are you a new nurse? Where are my pills? I don't know. I'm sorry, Mrs. Shepard. I don't know what happened at Carnaby Square. Do you remember? Carnaby Square. I think I used to live there a long time ago. We didn't have much money at the time, you know. We had to make do with very little. Yeah. Um. I can't ask anything else. I'm kind of. Oh. Uh, um. All right, no point in wasting my time. I won't learn anything more by staying here.
Are we gonna make an origami? Oh, I understand. I, I get it. We're gonna make an origami, show it to her. So she can get her memory back? Question mark. I love origami, but that's not my favorite one. Hmm. That's not her favorite. Wrong. Let's show the dog. The dog looks pretty cool. Welcome to origami class. Oh, you know how to do these little dogs, too. My children loved origami. I taught them how to do it. John loved the little dogs. He always wanted to call them Max. Max, Max, Max. All dogs with the same name. I was wasting my time telling him they couldn't all have the same name. But he always wanted his paper dogs Max. It's funny, isn't it? Maybe the kid's name was Max. It take it days, if not longer, to find the name of the family that adopted her son. Sean Mars would be dead by then. Did you make these origami figures? My little paper animals. They played with them for hours. I showed my boys how to make them, you know. Yes, your boys, Mrs. Shepard. John and... What was your other son's name again? My other son? I only had one son. My little Johnny. I feel bad for them in the sun. I know she's not doing it on purpose. It seems to be working. She's remembering she stuff. Um, Gotta find something else to show her. All right, no point in wasting my time. I won't learn anything more by staying here. All right, no point in wasting my time. I won't learn anything more by staying here. All right, no point in wasting my time. I won't learn anything more by staying here. Does Mrs. Shepard ever talk about her past? It's not all very clear to her now. Sometimes she'll remember the oddest things, though. I suppose if she sees something that reminds her of her past. Did she ever mention her sons? Sons? Well, she often mentions John. I think he drowned. Does she ever talk about her other son? I didn't know she had another one. I've never heard her mention it. Does she get many visitors? She's been here for ten years and you're the first. Sometimes, if you show her things, it seems to trigger a memory from her past. You might get it to remember. Thanks for the advice. Must have something linked to her son's accident in here. A picture of or something. Doesn't look more gonna kill like orchids, right? She said she loved flowers. But what kind? Well, this is the only kind we got, so. Show her things that take her back. Must have something linked to her son's accident in here. A picture or something. something. We don't have a picture. Um, give it to her. Take this. No. Um, she said she loved flowers, but what kind?
Oh no. I know exactly what to do. Here we go. What a lovely orchid. My sons loved orchids. We used to grow them in the back. When John died, I laid orchids on his grave. With who? Wait. Are these your children, Mrs. Shepherd? John and his brother? Is that them? They're good little boys. Their father never looked after them. Always drinking. They didn't have an easy life, you know. Darn, she really does not remember that mother. Another kid. I cried when they told me. I'd already lost one of my children, and now they were taking away another one, you understand? The foster family, Mrs. Shepherd. What was the name of the foster family that adopted John's brother? They were really very nice people. I met them, you know. In the beginning, I used to go and see my little boy. And then I got sick and I couldn't go any longer. Oh. Perhaps he thought I'd forgotten him. He must have thought I didn't love him anymore. His name, Mrs. Shepherd. What was his name? But I loved him. If you only knew how much I missed him. Please, Anne. His name. What was his name? Come closer. What? Really? I cannot believe we don't we can't we can't even hear it. She looks shocked. We didn't even hear who it was. So. Wow. <laughs> I love it's really a cliffhanger, man. Does she know who it is? Like, she knows... the name. And we're going to end it off there. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye.